Um, excuse the mess. If you see a mess back here, um, renovating things look a mess. So, um, anyway, <laughs> I decided to do a little, um, if you want to say mukbanging today. Um, I want to try out this recipe from Miriam. It's so good TV. If you look, if you um, want to try looking at looking for her um, YouTube, it's it's so good. And um, cooking with Miriam is the subtitle. Um, anyway, she has this Parmesan Alfredo um, chicken tomato recipe she has here. And I wanted to, you know, see what it tastes like. And mine is really hot right now. I just finished with it. And it's my version, so it doesn't look like Miriam's. Doesn't probably doesn't taste it's just like hers. But I want to see, you know, get an idea of what um, it tastes like. It looks good. So we're going to taste it now. Let's see. It's right here. Looks really good. It's got mozzarella cheese on the top. Let me see if I got an oven. Look at there. Look at that mozzarella. See what I was telling you? Don't it look good? Look at that. See that? See that spinach up in there? Yeah. That look good there. Mm-hmm. See that? Oh, wee, look at that stringy mozzarella. Now, we're going to taste it and see what it tastes like. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. She right. This is so good. She's right. This is so good. You can taste the bacon in there. I put a little bacon in mine just like she did in hers. She added bacon. It's optional. But you can taste the bacon in there. You can taste the mozzarella. You can taste the spinach. It's not like uh, one thing is overpowering another. I mean, it's all in here together with the butter and the cream cheese. And you can kind of taste all the little flavors. It's very good. I'm as a matter of fact, I'm gonna have me another bite. Oh, looks like I got a chunk of chicken here. Ooh, this looks so good. Ooh, ooh, I gotta show you. I'm trying to show you what I'm talking about. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, don't that look good? Hmm, hmm. I'll try another one. This big piece of chicken. Look at that. Look at that chicken. Look at that. Ooh, don't look good. Those tomatoes. It's hot, by the way. It just came out of the oven. So it's piping hot. Mmm. 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 Mm. If you ain't eating with me, if you ain't eating on this chicken Alfredo right here, from Miriam, it's so good. You missing it. Mmm. 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 Because it is so good. It is so good. Mmm. I'm going to give her a shout out, by the way. Thank you, Miriam, for this beautiful recipe. It is posted on her on her web um, channel. You guys see that? Mm. Look at how that mozzarella just comes up. I don't have to do anything, you know, no working or nothing. It just, you know, oh, look at it melting. Mm. Mm. get it all over my mouth and everything it tastes so good though so good you guys should check her channel out she's a uh, she's always cooking on her channel and she does some muck bombs and I want to test it out today mm. I do not regret it I do not regret it mm. This is good. You know, while we're speaking of YouTubers that I really like um, so far, I mean, I'm, I'm all over YouTube, but there's some people whose channels I just like, I just keep coming back to their channel, you know, and they're not paying me or nothing to do with this. I'm just doing it because I like their channel, you know, so I just want to tell them thank you for putting out such great content um one of them that 
along the lines of cooking, mukbanging, B loves life, um, B loves Lee. At first, I heard about B love. Mm. I heard about them, but I was like, well, everybody talking about it, but I ain't really that into them. I saw the channel. And I was like, I see her. I hear her. She loud. I don't really. I don't really care for her. You know? And I kept watching. I kept watching the channel. And, you know, it ain't so bad. I just got into it, really. And I've been seeing her. She kind of, she loves cooking. She loves seafood. And she kind of goes everywhere and tries to find delicious recipes. As a matter of fact, I think she makes her own recipes as well. She cooks as well. And she's a real down-to-earth type person. You know, and that's what I like about her. At first, you know, I was just thinking, you know, just, you know, just a mukbang. People, you know, they get on mukbang, they just kind of talk any kind of thing, but, mm -mm, not really. I saw her channel, um, she real down to earth, she real sweet. Not only does she mukbang, she do a few other things, and she actually helps people out with some of the things she does on her channel and I like people that do stuff like that so I really do like her channel I want to give her a shout out there it makes me lovely um, another person who I like I'm going to tell you why I like her because I know a lot of people don't like her but I'm going to tell you why I like her give me one minute let me eat this right here mm. eat with Q I like her. Tell you why I like her. I came on her website from a channel that I won't name because I don't like them. That was parodying her. And at first it was like, yeah, I see what she's smacking and all this kind of stuff. And, but they were taking it way out of context. She wasn't doing all that they were saying. It was too much. They were just putting on her. Anyway, her response is what made me like her. I just started liking these people. Now, these are just new people that I just started liking. So, these are not somebody, oh, I've been liking them for a long time. Her response is what made me like her. The way that she just, she responded to them. She was like, you know what? I want to say thank you to y'all. Congratulations to you guys. They had something going on in their personal lives. And she congratulated them on it. She was just so sweet. And it was just like, whatever they did, she made it, she encouraged her viewers, she was just encouraging and loving, and it was just like, whatever they did, it was like duck water on a duck's back, it just flew right off. And I love that, I love when somebody handles a situation where somebody could really embarrass them and sort their reputation, and they handle it with such class. I like that made me, that made me like her. I was like, you know what? Yeah, I like you. I like you. I'm going to tell you, some other sites I love, too. Eh. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Big old mess. <laughs> mm, mm. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. <laughs> mm. I did that. I made that mess. But it's some other sites I really love. Um... And these are just the mukbanging ones that I've been watching for the last, I want to say a few days, it ain't really been really long, that I really love. Um, now, it's a few others, they don't talk, but I don't, I don't know how to say their names in English, so I can't really say um, 
the names but I do like their channels they're they're some Korean people um but I don't know how to say their names in English so I apologize on that for that but if I can get their names I'll kind of try to find a way to put it up there and let y'all know who I'm talking about anyway um I'm making a big cheesy mess. <laughs> I really am. I really am. <laughs> but um, aside from mukbangers, I like um, there's some people I like um uh, that do some talking. They talk in my mind. They talk common sense. And you may not like the way that they, like I said, you may not like them. You may not like their presentation. You may not like the way they come across. But I like them. I like them because they talk common sense. I know some people talk some junk. They just talk. But these people talk common sense. And, excuse me, not only do they talk common sense, they talk it from a very, in my mind, intelligent point of view. And... Like I said, I was just getting into these channels, but I really like them. And one I've really grown to like is Everybody Hates Angel. He said everybody hates Angel, but everybody don't hate Angel. But I know why he says that. It's for a reason. And the reason is because he has a very strong opinion on certain things. And some people don't like it. It rubs them the wrong way. But a lot of what he's saying is truthful. So why hate on the truth? Um, then um, he's also very knowledgeable. I like that he's very knowledgeable with his opinion. He don't just give an opinion. He also gives you facts to back it up and everything. I like Eliho. Um, Eloho. I apologize if I'm saying your name wrong. I didn't mean to, but she's a very sweet young lady from New York. Um, again, she speaks on some topics that you might think are controversial, um, but mm. Mm. Miriam, you did it. This is good. This is so, so good. But, um, like I was saying about Eloho, um, or Elio, Eloho, I'm sorry if I can't say your name right, I have a little bit of a country bumpkin accent, I'm gonna blame that, <laughs> um, but I really like her, her top, her, um, point of view on a lot of things that she speaks on, um, I also like the Madame Marcel, the Madame Marcel, and you guys may not like the way, like I said, some of these people come across. Because they are straightforward. But I like them because they're honest. And not only honest. Mm, I had a big chunk of chicken I had to chew. <laughs> not only are they honest they factual and I like that I like that I like that they they date they, they're, they're pretty and they're pretty cool when it comes to serious topics but they don't always take themselves seriously it doesn't seem so I like that um who else amongst youtubers I like mm. well along the lines of performances and comedy. I like the Try Guys. BuzzFeed, As Is, and every, all of those guys there. And ladies there. They keep me cracking my side at them. I love that challenge with Ursula. They went under the water and tried to paint their face. It was so silly. Just hilarious watching them do the drag shows and things like that. But some of the topics are kind of serious. But they have a funny and sweet way of looking at things and I, I like I like them I like how they experiment on new things they're not afraid to try things out that they never tried before and it's always fun with them I also like how they make it look so easy it's not 
but they make it look that way. Um, um, all of the art I like out of the performers, singers, comedians, if you will. I gotta give him a shout out. Todrick Hall. Mm. You guys have to check his channel out. He's hilarious. He's one of um one of the performers that I really like. He's really outstanding with what he does. He's very creative. Very hilarious. Very funny. I'm all in the cell about Django. I can't stop laughing. When I'm feeling down, I'll turn him on. I can watch him. He's really cool. I like that. Um, another one I saw, he, he um, promoted Chris Villain. I saw his um, channel. I saw his little episode he did um, for Todrick Hall. I really like that too. Um, and that did get me kind of into some of the Disney artists. And I, I don't know, like I said, all names. And I apologize. But I do I do like quite a few. It's quite a few of them that are there that do, um, if you want to say performances, and singing and I really do like them uh, one good person is the uh, excuse me I'm just burping <laughs> I believe his last name is Hollins um, and I really like him too um, oh I got a lot of that I'm subscribed to and I'm not I don't have a YouTube page in front of me or anything I'm just kind of doing it off the top of my head so apologize for it. Ooh, look at that cheese mm, 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 mm. Mm. I'm messing them up. Mm. As far as couples are concerned, I like um, Love With Standing. They're very sweet. Um, and they're dealing with a lot in their lives, a lot of things that in my mind are really heavy. And some people, when they get into relationships, especially interracial relationships, they don't expect that to happen like that. And um, the way the cookie crumbled for them is really, really sort of upsetting. But they push through it, and, and the way that they are in response to that is very positive. They're a very sweet couple, and I absolutely love watching their their YouTube channel. Um, another YouTube channel that I like watching is Slice and Rice. They're cute too. I know I'm in the Blazing couples right now, huh? <laughs> um. I, I just I think they're funny. I, I like watching them. I like watching him try try to teach her how to dug it. It was so hilarious. Um, and I just I, I like things that make you lay back and watch and just laugh. And I also like things that make me think and just be like, hmm. Well, I never thought of it that way. So I do like those channels. Those are just a few. Oh, and uh, mukbangers that don't talk. They do. I guess it's ASMR or whatever, eating or whatever. I'm going to tell you who I like on them. Mm. <laughs> you got me making a mess. <laughs> mm. I am so messy. <laughs> um, But ASMR eaters that just, they don't say nothing. They just come on there and eat. You know, even sometimes don't even see their whole face. I got to give a shout out to Oddly Satisfying Videos. I like your videos. Also, Hangu ASMR eating. Eat, eat with kimchi. I like her as well. Um, Zach Jack Choi. I like him. Um, so those are just a few YouTubers I've been poking around the last few weeks. I really haven't been on it all that much, but I like these people. Um, Mm. I hope. Mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I'm still a mess. <laughs> I hope I come back on here another time. I'm good to eat with you guys. I did enjoy this mukbang. I hope you enjoyed it too. I hope you enjoyed eating with me, and I hope you guys take my suggestion. Go to Miriam's channel. Get this recipe for this cheesy Alfredo. You will not regret it. Mm. It's good. 
like Miriam say. It's so good. It's so, so good. <laughs> I cannot put the spoon down. It's good. Well, I'll see you guys next time because it's all the time I have on this. I don't want to burn y'all phones up too much. But um, I'll see y'all next time. Y'all have a good one. Run my body for them. Y'all have a good one. See y'all next time. Bye-bye.